it's easy to bring images into Luminar to edit. You can add or import them to your library. This video will walk you through the difference between adding versus importing photos. As a bonus, we'll also talk about organizing. Now, let's start by adding images to your library. This will leave them exactly where they are on your hard drive. Click the plus button next to folder. You can add images from your internal or external drives, memory cards, and from sync cloud storages like Google Drive, provided the photos are also stored on your local drive. Let's browse for a folder we want. We'll click the add folder button to add them to our Luminar library. When you add a folder, Luminar makes thumbnails of the images. Our folder, along with any of its subfolders, are automatically added. This will keep Luminar and our drives completely in sync. If we rename a folder or a subfolder in Luminar, that name automatically gets changed on our drive. And if we change it on our drive, it'll automatically be changed in Luminar. If you imported images from an external drive, and then disconnect the drive, the image will appear with an offline icon in the top corner. You can still rate, tag, and pick these photos while offline. When you reattach the hard drive, the photos will automatically come back online and can be edited. Let's talk about importing. When you import photos, you can choose to move them from where they are on your hard drive to a new location. You know, for example, your pictures folder or you can leave them where they are and make a copy of them in a new location. Okay. To import images, you can click File and select Import Images. Another option is from the top toolbar is to click the Import button and select Import To and then choose the location where we want to import the images to. Now we're going to select images from a memory card now we could choose to either copy the images or move them. Let's select copy. And to organize them, let's keep the existing folder structure. Be sure to select the include subfolders and then click the import to folder to add the images to our library. Now let's take a moment and talk about organizing. Any of the following changes within Luminar or on the hard drive will update both ways. Now we imported images from our memory card. Now I could change the folder name. I'll just right mouse click on it and select rename and enter a new name. And now when we explore the drive, we'll see the name, already, the name has been changed here. If I add a new folder to the drive, and let's say copy an image to it, it'll also appear inside Luminar. This two-way communication makes it perfect to keep our images in Luminar and on our drive in perfect sync. Now that you know how to import your images, it's time to get creative and develop your images.